What's up YouTube? How y'all guys doing today? <clears throat> so today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that in my life has recently and within the last year it's it's something I've heard getting talked about within the last year. I don't know how long this theory has been out there. It's probably been out there a while. <clears throat> but it's just something that I haven't heard um, up until 2020. So what it is, is I've heard a lot of talk going around nowadays that black people are the original um, children of Israel. They're the original Hebrews and uh, slash Jews, Jewish people. You know, they're God's chosen people. And I had first seen that uh, people had started talking about it on Facebook. And uh, I think that they've got a lot of overwhelming evidence to support that um, theory. Uh, I, I, I think that the world has tried to suppress black people for so long. Well, actually, I don't think that's kind of a fact. I think everybody can agree with that. It's like they, they have tried to silence black history for so long. And um, I think that the Bible said somewhere that my chosen people will always be persecuted. And you know, when I first heard the theory that the black people were the original Jews and Hebrews, I didn't really think too much about it. I thought, well, you know, maybe, I don't know, but I didn't really look into it until uh, just recently I was, you know, laying down in my bed and I, I thought about, you know, where it says that they, they will be persecuted. And uh, I was like, well, you know, if there was any race in the world that seems to have always been, you know, persecuted and stuff, it would be the black people. And I mean, it's just like, that's a fact. <clears throat> I mean, if every, um, I just recently learned that, you know, uh, probably about a year or so ago, I thought that America was the only country in history that had taken Africans as slaves, but, uh, you know, my girlfriend had told me that other, a lot of other countries had, uh, taken Africans as slaves and stuff, and, you know, that was news to me, uh, you know, and it's, I guess that's either, I don't know if we learned that in school or not, but... If we had learned that in school, I don't remember learning that. I, I mean, I just remember learning about, you know, the American slavery. But, yeah, I was shocked to uh, to hear that. <clears throat> and uh, it's like... And, I mean, no offense to anyone who had a family member, a grandma or grandpa, great-grandma or grandpa, that was in the Holocaust... Now, I, I'm not saying that, you know, those people weren't Jewish because obviously they were. And they were, uh, you know, murdered for being Jewish. So, you know, no offense to them. Um, I'm just talking about the original Jewish people, the original <clears throat> Hebrews. And I'm not saying that black people are or aren't. I don't... I'm saying I don't know. I'm just throwing this theory out there that I have recently learned and I plan on doing more research <clears throat> on and uh, coming to a conclusion someday for myself. But I just wanted to talk about this. You know, this is something that I don't know if a lot of people have heard and I think that people need to start looking into this. I think that they, this is a very strong theory. They have a lot of 
uh, support backing this theory. I don't know everything about the support. I just know there's a lot of it. <laughs> um, so I think that it needs to get out there and I wanted to get it out there on YouTube. And I mean, and it would make sense because they already have proof that the first man and woman were from Africa. You know, and uh, I, I mean, they have scientific proof. So that tells us that uh, Adam and Eve were black. And you could even go as far as to say that if the Jewish people, the original Jewish people were black, wouldn't that mean that Jesus was black? Yes, it would. Yes, it would. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> um, I grew up here in America, like most of us watching did. Or maybe some of you are watching from around the world. I don't know where you're from. Leave in the comments where you're watching from. <laughs> but in America, <clears throat> we have painted Jesus to be white with long brown hair and a brown beard. And, you know... I believe that in China, they have painted Jesus to be Chinese, black hair, black beard, um, you know, stuff like that. So, um, I, and, you know, I was raised to think that Jesus was white, <clears throat> like me. But now that I'm older and I've learned more about the Middle East and stuff, I don't necessarily believe he was white. You know, to, to say that Jesus was white is kind of kind of stupid to me now I don't I don't believe he was white no and I'm okay with that a lot of people I think in America especially white people are very offended when you say that Jesus was not white they get so mad which is crazy but we're not going to get into that that's how some people are, so let them think what they want. I mean, who knows? Maybe when we die and get to heaven, Jesus will appear uh, to Chinese people as a Chinese man. He'll appear to Indians as an Indian man. He'll appear to black people as a black man. He'll appear to white people as a white man. Who knows? I don't know. But, I mean, there was that story where that young boy that was a son of the one of the KKK leaders <clears throat> he had died and uh, they rushed him to the hospital and revived him and he said that when he was dead he went to heaven and saw Jesus and he said that Jesus was a black